today is sort of a search and destroy mission, I guess you might say. We're going to do a little scouting report. I got a project here that I'm going to get started on, but there's some variables to it that uh, is really not a whole lot of fun. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What we got here, we got this barn, shed, combination, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to clean up this end, tear this off, and then put trusses on here. I'm going to set post 10 foot on center out. So we're going to set four posts, make it 40 foot this way. And I think from tip to tip of those trusses, or 34 feet. I came over and checked it several weeks ago. I think it's a 412 pitch. And I guess you know what that means. If it's 412, you, for the pitch of a roof, you got what's called the run and the riser, or the run and the rise. The run is the distance That it's going this way. That's the run. So if this building is 20, <clears throat> 28 feet wide, half of that be 14 feet. That's the length of your run. Then the rise, if you came from this point and measured over one foot, and then you measure level over from here to here, one foot, and you measure up that distance, if it's four inches, that would be a four and 12 pitch roof. Okay, so uh, that's how you figure a roof. Let me show you, I got a piece of paper here somewhere. This is one of those mornings where you you drink at break time gets colder out of the refrigerator than in the refrigerator. That looks like a good wet place to sit and get your breeches wet. Okay. Let's see if I can do this here. Here's what we got existing. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to extend this on down. And I'm going to put a post here, a post here, post here, post here. Put a beam here, beam here, and beam here. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and these are 412 trusses. We're going to set those on four foot center. From here to here be four feet. Same thing here. Same thing here. Okay. And then we're going to strip it with two befores. If you've been watching any of the videos, you've seen this. Running the mill, we're going to strip this with two befores. Probably put those on uh, two foot centers, I'm not sure. And then we're going to put 10 on it here, like that. All right, so this will be open on this end, be able to drive in here and park equipment and supplies and stuff in under here. And then this will continue to be the building with the little door here and all that stuff. So anyway, that's sort of the overall plan. When you're starting a project, in my opinion, what I have to do anyway, is I like to see the end before the beginning. I like to have it visualized in my mind. But today, I hadn't been over here a while. I have not uh, investigated what it's gonna take to clean up the end of this building. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get scaffolds. I planned to use uh, 
bucket on my back hole to get up there, but it's so muddy. If I bring a back hole in here, I'm just going to get stuck up. I'm not going to get stuck, but I'm going to make a royal mess. So anyway, this is uh, <clears throat> this is what we're up against. Like I say, today is sort of a search and destroy kind of a mission. I don't know how much I'll get done. Uh, this is the result. My brother-in-law, he he, uh, there was a structure out here, and he tore it off with a bulldozer, and uh, you can see he made really nice clean cuts and everything. So, made my work easy. But uh, we're gonna try to keep from getting hit in the head or bloody or beat up. Uh, so let's get busy and see what we can do. Uh, hang on. I don't want to do is demolish the end of this building prematurely. I don't want to tear off more than needs to come off. That's a good bore. I know it sounded like I was grunting there, but I wasn't. I was just doing that for theatrics. Let's see what we got here. In case anybody's wondering, I know you see some wires hanging down. They ain't hot. There's no power on this building. And before, and this thing may fall on me. In just a second. But I have a little bit of experience. Like a hundred years. building stuff and I have at least a, a guess as to what I'm dealing with I don't plan to tear off anything I'm going to have to get a bigger hammer I can see that right now Yep. Sometimes it's going to go up to a two pound to start with.
That's a good board. I don't want to throw that away. I guess one of the main things you got to look out for in demolition when you're taking boards off, they got nails in them. And if anybody can step on those nails, and they'll go up through your foot. Might get locked jaw or something. Of course, I've seen a few people that wouldn't hurt, hadn't you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't want anybody to get no locked jaw. Now, I got a couple of shiny new tools here, but I guarantee you, most of what I got, it ain't shiny and it ain't new. Bingo. I may, like I say now, this is, today is just doing a scouting report. My goal is not to get this all tore out. If I get it all tore out, more better. Be a blessing. And like I say, if it wasn't so muddy, where I can get a piece of equipment in here. And I still, I may try it here after lunch, because I don't like to work hard. I do like to work, but let me get one more tool. You know, got to get all your tools out. Let me show you this one. Now, you guys that do construction all the time, you know all the names of these tools and everything. Now, see this little boy right here? That's called a cat's paw. I've had that one probably 40 plus years. They make new ones, but they don't make them any better. Get you a cat's paw if you're going to do any demolition. Look at that. Voila, voila, voila. More than one way to skin a cat. Now let me tell you something about construction, demolition. Is Joe's way and there's Bill's way. And there's your way. Now, certainly in a lot of things there's stuff we ought to do that's just tried and true, but like on this mess right here, this 
to get her done. I'm hoping that, uh, like I say, it's been several, several weeks since I came down and measured this. Now what we got is scissor trusses, which hopefully this is a four and 12 and hopefully it, you know, this was stick built. Hopefully the guys that built it stay consistent uh, and usually the bottom cord of a scissor truss is one half of what the top cord is so if the top cord is 412 the bottom cord usually would be a 212 but uh, we was needing as much headroom as we could get here in the middle and so I talked to the guys at the truss manufacturing place I plan to take you down there one of these days. And uh, they told me that they could do the bottom cord at one and a half. So that gave us, this building's 28 feet, I don't remember exactly. So you cut that in half, that's 14 feet. That gives you a half inch um, every foot by going from a, two twelve to a one and a half and twelve you're gaining a half inch every foot and so if you got 14 feet that gives you an extra seven inches uh, and that would be pretty nice I'm gonna step over here to the other end because that metal I, I, I'm telling you guys the longer I'm here which hasn't been long but the longer I am here, the more I am determined that uh, I'm going to go get the tractor and get up in the bucket and get that top off. I don't know if this is going to work. That two to six may just pull off. But... Yeah, so I sort of expected. This two to six is liable to break. Let's see. There again. Might come down. What I'm talking about. I sure wish that one nail wasn't up there. 
and this uh, piece of tin will be on the ground. War is war, they say. But you know what? I think it's time to go get a sun drop and a Reese cup payday bar butterfinger or something and uh, and then we'll come back and and maybe clean this up and and uh, call it a day thanks for hanging with me so far and then then uh, we're gonna get to I'm probably gonna get some water cutters too. These 10 steps do all right, but. Uh. Now she's ready to come off. Everybody out of the way. Like that. Well, I'll be. Now this barn wren is not going to be happy. He had him a pretty nest in there. Actually found some fresh green moss. Still been working on that. But he ain't gonna be happy. So you may remember what it looked like this morning. So we're going to be setting posts and beams here. Like I say, we're going to put a post every 10 feet. Beam, set the trusses to perform, put some tent on this open shed for storing materials. So uh, be looking for the next project. We're in construction. You're always a little, little uh, dependent on what the weather can do.